Hello everyone in Cyber World. Welcome back to another video. I'm Richard. And I'm Jennifer, and this is our channel we call Poor Man's DIY. So once again, we have an organization uh, that uh, has asked us to make a, a gift that would be a go away present for someone we happen to know. Um, in the past, we have made many displays of uh, origami where we took uh, um, uncut U.S. Treasury uh, dollar bills, we folded it into a particular design, it got encased into a frame or something, and uh, those seem to be something that was uh, enjoyed by many that we've uh, presented these to. Uh, unfortunately, with COVID, um, the U.S. Treasury had cut back on a bunch of employees and they no longer sell those um, those uncut sheets of, of dollar bills at the moment and so we've had to come up with uh, different ideas if you looked um, watched one of our recent ones we did an origami uh, 3d motorcycle for a person and this time uh, we were asked to see if we can come up with something uh, different yet again we discussed it with them and what we decided to do was uh, come up with an idea that works with their organization's patch which we'll show right around around here. Now, with this design, uh, we wanted to do something that would be uh, something unique and maybe something that uh, the person can actually use and not get tossed in the trash, uh, although they might anyways, but we'll have to no. see. And this is what we made. Now, this project actually took several different uh, types of uh, techniques that uh, we've learned over the years, and we kind of implemented it all together. Um, in order to show all of this, we had just far too much footage to be able to do this and, and explain uh, exactly how we ended up coming up with this. So we're going to break this uh, video down into two parts. And so today we start with part one, and we'll show you what we did. For this project, we needed wood circles. In order to do that, we need to make a jig.
Using the new jig we put together, I performed three passes to make the wood circles. At the end, we use a chamfer bit to round off the edges. We then printed the emblem as a stencil using our Cricut. We applied the stencil to the wood circle. So, Mr. Poorman used this project as an excuse to purchase a scroll saw. Seeing how I've never used a scroll saw before, I probably should have practiced first, but said what the heck and went right at it. Oops, I really should have practiced first. We used a darker stain for the back piece and a little bit lighter stain for the front piece. I'm so sorry, but we're going to cut this video short this week, but we're going to show you the finale next week, so stay tuned.